Today's adventures are going to take us to the Vatican, where we want to see a few of Raphael's works. Of course, our goal is to see the Sistine Chapel and. just opened up and look at the line already. I can't recommend enough. Sarah did such a good job getting us pre-bought tickets. We just skipped the two hour line. Totally have to do that. We gotta go through the museums before getting to the Sistine Chapel. Is the ancient pine cone. So it was like over 3,000 years old. In one of the main courtyards and back behind us. So all the tour groups stop here and the tour guides explain to them everything that they're going to see in the Sistine Chapel. Now we want to try to see a lot of Raphael's work. Persis carving the head off Medusa. What's interesting is the Pope has in place fig leaves in very designated areas um, to make them appropriate. Every single room in the Vatican is called its own museum. So this is a map of the area. Here's Lake Garda, just below it. That's where we went to in our other video. Sarah's gonna be pointing us to Vicenza. Vicenza. New Italy. There's Venice. Still wanna be Venice. Not taking the shortcut. So Raphael drew this stuff, but Constantine won the battle to gain control of the Roman Empire in 312. And then behind us here, we have Constantine's baptismal. On the ceiling you can see, this is to signify Christianity conquering the pagan gods. The pagan by Raphael in 511 to 514. It's known because of the frescas. That's the style they used, using the colors while they plastered it on the wall. But look how vibrant the colors are. Hudson Trent, look, they stole this from Dad's office in downtown Lancaster and painted it right here. I painted this room between 1508 and 1511. Here's his school of Athens, which is his most famous work, because it has all the famous philosophers and artists corresponding. Michelangelo right in here. We have Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. Tragic death. He made it for his sister. And usually he didn't 
two religious pieces of art. There are so many of these rooms in the Vatican that people keep missing because they're trying to run straight for the Sistine Chapel. They are incredible. It's insane. And there's no crowds here. Win, win, win. Mm -hmm. Nobody's in these rooms. Here we are in the Sistine Chapel. Just kidding. They don't let you take videos inside the Sistine Chapel. But there's a reason why they say it's the most single amazing piece of artwork. It is so impressive. But you can just look at there forever. Highly recommend reading all about it before going in. Dated to the first century. Now to exit. Originally, I thought this was the Vatican. It's still part of it, but it's primarily St. Peter's Basilica. Basilica entrance. Being eight months in womb. Um, Wait in line because apparently they like pregnant women here. Here's one of Michelangelo's first works. He's 23 years old when he did this. Made in 1499. We are in the center inside St. Peter's. the altar and the dome immediately over top of St. Peter's grave. And Michelangelo designed the new dome in 1506. Get out now. 